Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. I feel like I haven't filmed a shipping video in so long, but I'm back. I have 20 items here to ship out today to package up and ship out. And so let's go ahead and get started. I have all of my labels for the sales already printed out. I printed them on my Dymo label writer for XL, and I did handwrite all of the information on the back. Like if I received an offer, if I counter offered, I wrote all of that down to relay to you guys. Most all of these sales were very fast. They were only listed for a couple days. And I always like to fill you guys in on what is selling quickly for me, what's hot, what's trending. So our very first sale for today is a jacket and it's a large jacket so I'm going to grab my biggest box that I use. This is box number seven from the USPS. I ordered this free. It comes straight to my door. I have all the information on all the boxes that I like to use linked in the description of this video. I also have all of my shipping supplies linked. So this jacket is by the brand Unique Low, and it's really nice. I don't always get this brand, but when the piece seems to be really high quality, I do go ahead and get it. Um, this is like a very heavyweight denim chore coat, or yeah, chore coat. Um, it's just very like minimalist, contemporary kind of style. The belt was still attached. It is from the Unique Low U line, which I think is a little bit more pricey than some of their other stuff. Um, I actually grabbed this from the bins, and this was not a fast sale. I probably purchased this maybe nine months ago, so it has sat for a bit, um, but I did list it in the summertime. So I listed it out of season, which was probably why it sat for a while. This brand typically does sell really quickly for me. And I am going to, you know what, this, I think, I think I might actually save this big box because this looks like it might fit in my 1095 box. So I just fold it up as best I can and then I take my shipping paper. I do order this on Amazon. Again, I will have it linked down below. It is from U-Haul. U-Haul uh, makes this paper and I do use paper to ship my items because it's more eco-friendly um, and you know with, with the volume that I ship I try my hardest to use as little plastic as possible. So for this jacket, I listed it at 65 just because, like I said, I think this Unique Glow U line does retail for a bit more than their um, some of their other stuff. And I got a $45 offer about nine months after being listed. I did accept that. I was happy to move this out, especially because, you know, we are on our way out of colder weather. So my earnings were 36. I did get it from the bins and that's Goodwill Outlet. That's kind of the slang for Goodwill Outlet. Um, and so at that store, you pay by the pound, $2.19 per pound. I did weigh this out to see how much I paid for it exactly and it came out to $5. And so my net profit was 31, which I'm still happy about. I actually think that, so when you're shopping at the Goodwill outlet here in Houston, if you are buying zero to 49 pounds, it's $2.19 per pound. But if you are able to find 50 pounds, if, you, if you're wanting to purchase 50 pounds and up, they do drop the price per pound that you pay down to $1.79. So they reward you for buying more because the Goodwill outlet is the last stop before the landfill or wherever. So they want you to buy more. Um, and so I think that jacket actually helped me get to... 50 pounds that day. So it, I was kind of saving money by buying that. So 
it's definitely kind of confusing, but um, yeah, it was that particular piece was good that it weighed a little bit more. Okay, moving on, we have another jacket. This is now this was in contrast a very quick sale. This was only listed for three days or so. It's from the J. Crew collection. If you watched my most recent thrift haul, you would have seen this. It's a really nice, kind of more formal puffer jacket with a Glen plaid print to it. It is down filled, so this is probably three to four hundred dollars retail. Um, it is from the J. Crew collection, which is the highest tier to that brand. So with bulkier items, I just line the bottom of my box number seven with a piece of paper, packing paper. Dropped my label. And then I fold the item in and then add a piece of paper on top. And then I just kind of throw a thank you sticker on there. And so this is what it looks like when the buyer opens. Um, it's very fast, very easy, but it does make the package presentable. Okay, so this tape dispenser is also one of my favorite shipping supplies item because it has packing tape and duct or uh, scotch tape, both types of tape in the dispenser, which I love, and a spot for my scissors and pens and such as. Okay, so for this J. Crew jacket, I listed it at 65. It was missing the hood, the zip-on hood, and so if it had that, I probably would have listed closer to 100 or 125-ish, but I listed it at 65. I got an offer of 50. I did accept that. My earnings were 40. I paid $2.25. And so my net profit on this jacket was $37.75. I am also taking a little bit lower offers on winter items, especially heavy winter items like down puffer jackets, because I do not want them to sit when springtime comes. I want to move them out. Okay, next up we have a great sale here. This is a Loro Piana. 100% cashmere sweater in a really pretty burgundy color. This sweater has absolutely no flaws. I was so excited about it. Um, cashmere, you know, typically has at least one or two small flaws, but I don't think this was ever worn. Um, it's just the highest quality cashmere you can find. This probably retailed for, I would guess, Five to eight hundred dollars. The brand is so expensive. I mean, you can go on their website. A lot of their sweaters are selling over a thousand dollars retail. Um, this is a little bit of an older piece, and it it was also missing the brand tag at the neck, which does devalue it just a bit, I would say. But uh, the brand was listed on the material tag. So I was sure that it was Laurel Piana. It's raining, if you guys can hear that. Um, so I listed this at $165. And again, within just a couple days, I received an offer of 100, which I did counter to 125. And the buyer did counter back to 115, which I accepted. My earnings were 92. Again, I paid $2.25 for this. And so my net profit was $90 on this sweater. So definitely a Bolo brand. It's one of those brands that people know the name of. They know that it's very high quality. Um, and again, the retail is just so incredibly high that a lot of people want to turn to the secondhand market to get a huge markdown. Okay, next up, another good sale. This was Free People. Really pretty velvet halter neck beaded blouse with like this celestial pattern to it and a fringe trim. This is missing the size, but it did measure out to be like a size large. The comps are pretty good on this. Uh, there were not 
a crazy amount listed, which I always love to see with free people, but there were several sold. Um, so that's pretty much best case scenario when you check comps. Um, that does persuade me to list a little bit higher. A lot of the time with free people items, I will list below what everyone else is listing for just because there's usually so many of the same item and you know I don't want mine to sit forever. I would rather just get it sold, reinvest that in more items and just keep things moving. But for this piece, because there were not so many listed, I did list a little bit higher at $75. And within, again, just a couple days, I would say within a week, I received a $45 offer, which I accepted. My earnings were $36. I paid $2.25, and so my net profit was right around $34 on this top, which I am very pleased with for Free People. I think Free People is one of those brands that is, the resale value is going down a bit just because the market is getting, you know, very saturated with free people items and it's just everywhere basically. And so I do kind of keep an eye out for higher end pieces from free people, meaning the material is better, cashmere, alpaca, wool, um, and, you know, staying away from just basic cottons and polyesters and also items that just have a lot going for them. Like that top was beaded. It had a velvet texture to it. Um, it had fringe, lots of details. And speaking of, this sweater is also Free People. This sold. And this is 100% cashmere. So this is another example of a piece from the brand that would command a higher price on the resale market just because it definitely retailed for more. This is probably $178 retail would be my guess. It's really nice and this had absolutely no pilling, no signs of wear. It's a really thick kind of cashmere. Um, so this will keep you toasty. So we have this and then Second and final item in this bundle is more cashmere. It's from Charter Club, 100%. Um, really pretty green color, just a basic v-neck. Again, no pilling, no holes, no flaws, so we love to see that. I mentioned in the haul that I pick up pretty much anything 100% cashmere, even if you know there's no brand tag sometimes. If the style is there and the condition is good, I will still get it. And both of these were, again, very quick sales. Uh, when the two were added together, the bundle price came out to $117. And I was offered $65, which I did counter to $95. And that was countered to 75 and then I countered back to 85 And so we agreed on 85 for the two pieces. That made my earnings $68. I paid $4.50 for both, and so my net profit was $63.50, which I'm definitely happy with especially because they sold so quickly and again I am wanting to move out my wintery items I have had just a huge death pile and um, I have been slowly working through it slowly but now quickly I have really kind of put the pedal to the metal um, on listing and I still have probably a couple hundred unlisted items so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of those thrift hauls and whenever I do thrift hauls I usually have ship with me videos very soon after moving on we have an intermix top this was my first time finding this brand when I picked this top up I think it's so pretty it's velvet it kind of has like a 
Swiss dot texture to it. The bodice is lined and then the sleeves are sheer. Has a little necktie that you can tie or not. And Intermix, I think it's a pretty pricey brand. I don't I don't think the resale value kind of holds up as well as it could. But a lot of people are familiar with it and I think they search it out. And this top did take, I would say, six to nine months to sell. So it was a slower sell, but I was happy with the profit. It was listed at 45 and flip my free kind of virtual assistant service sent out an offer on this. I have the flip settings to anytime someone likes a listing, flip will automatically send them out a 10% off offer with discount ship. And so that was sent out and the buyer actually, she messaged me and said, Hey, I actually missed your offer. Would you mind resending it? And so I just resent the offer and she accepted it that time. So that's a lesson to check your comments, you know, stay active on the app uh, because she was wanting to purchase this. And so I resent the offer. She purchased immediately. So $40 with discount ship was what it sold for. That made my earnings $29.32. When I say my earnings, that is just what I made after Poshmark took out their 20% platform fee. So what goes into my pocket is $29.32. I paid $2 for this, and so my net profit was $27.32. So happy with that. I would pick that brand up again, even though it was kind of a long run sale. That's fine. Moving on, we have an athletic set. This is super cute. It is the Alation Ultra High Rise Tight by Athleta. So that's the pants. They are full length. They're both size small. And then this is just the matching sports bra. And these are newer. This is a newer set. I think that it's like from 2020 on. I purchased this in a clothing lot from a friend from high school. And um, I paid about $12 for it. I have all of the hauls. I filmed the hauls where I purchased the clothing lots from this friend. Um, and so I'll link them down below. I paid, I think, $400 for the first clothing lot and then $700 for the second clothing lot. I definitely made my money back and then quite a bit of profit from both clothing hauls, so I'm definitely pleased that I decided to purchase the lots from her. Um, I think, you know, purchasing from a friend or family member is a good route to go just to kind of supplement your business sometimes, in my opinion, for my business. Um, I wouldn't do it, you know, I wouldn't solely run my business on purchasing from friends and family. But if your cost of goods are low enough across the board, then, you know, paying up for a specific amount of clothing, um, it all kind of averages out to where, you know, in the grand scheme of things, even though I paid up for everything I purchased from her, like it, this set came out to $12. But in the grand scheme of things, you know, I would say 99% of my items I purchased for $2. So when you average everything out, I probably paid, you know, closer to $2 for this on average. Um, and the good thing about it is you get inventory that you didn't have to spend time on, which is a huge thing because time is money. So that's my kind of thought on that. I hope that made sense. I kind of went off on a tangent, but I listed that set at $65. Again, Flip sent out a $58 offer with discount ship, and someone did counter that offer to $40, which I did accept. My earnings were 32, 
And so my net profit was right around 20-ish on that set. Um, if you guys want to try out Flip, it is 100% free. There are no strings attached. You don't have to put a credit card in or anything like that. Um, you just type in your name and your email and you basically get a virtual assistant that helps you share your closet. It sends out offers for you. I do have a video where I explain exactly how to set everything up and all of my specific settings and how I use it. I will link that video down below and I also will have the link to sign up for Flip if you want to do that. Okay, next up we have a hoodie from Lululemon. Really cute, very soft and cozy. This is kind of an interesting piece. It's the hoodie is kind of high up, so you can wear it kind of like a cowl neck or you know, put the hood up. It has thumb holes. This was another very quick sale. That Athleta set that I just packaged, I've had for I would say three to four months now, so that was a little bit slower. But this was within just a few days. Really cozy. I listed it at 40. It is a little bit of an older piece from Lululemon. I know that because the size dot just says the size on it. If it were newer, the style number would be circled. The, the size would be inside of the style number. The style number would circle the size um, if it were newer, but it just has the size on it. So it was older. I feel like I just said 500 words for one sentence. But anyways, I listed this at 40 and I got an offer of 34, which I went ahead and took. That made my earnings $27.20. I paid $2.25, and so my net profit was right around $25. I think Lululemon, kind of like Free People, is also losing a little bit of its resale value just relative to, you know, when I started. When I started, if you listed a tank top, I mean, it would sell same day for $35. And now I try to not even pick up Lululemon tank tops um, unless, you know, they're newer. The newer stuff does still sell very well um, and sells pretty close to retail value, I would say, if it's in good condition. Um, but the older stuff, again, same kind of thing with free people. It's more saturated. Uh, a lot of people have it listed and it's just way easier to find and so that always does kind of devalue it a little bit. All right, moving on, we have American Eagle, really cute. I said in the thrift haul that I was sad I didn't get this listed before Christmas time, so I'm so glad that it's still sold. Um, it is, I mean, it's not super, it's not just straight Christmas vibe, but um, I thought the plaid sleeves would be cute for like Christmas photos or something, but it definitely just kind of gives off a straight winter vibe. So, and you could do a lot with this. It's a jacket. You could wear it buttoned up or you could wear it open with a little tank top, maybe a beanie. <laughs> and I listed this at 28. Someone liked it. And so I sent them a $25 offer with discount ship that was accepted which made my earnings $17.32. I paid $2.25, and so my net profit was right around $15 on this shirt. I think, I don't know, will this fit in an envelope? I think it'll be fine. So, actually, both of the pieces that I mentioned in the thrift haul that I wished I got up before Christmas sold very quickly. So I'm very happy about that. The next one will be coming up. There's no really no rhyme or reason to if I use a, a Tyvek envelope or a box. It just depends on 
what the piece will fit in. Um, it's all the same. It's all priority mail. You can order or you can ship anything priority mail. You can't use uh, regional rate or express. Um, so, you know, if it says priority mail and only priority mail, you can use it. You can technically use flat rate boxes, but some post offices will give you a hard time about it. Just kind of depends on how easygoing your uh, postal store is. <laughs> Mine is not very easygoing if you have followed my channel, so I do not use flat rate boxes. But it's okay because I have all of my favorite boxes anyways. I feel like I keep going on these weird tangents. Okay, next up we have a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren denim, another very quick sale uh, for these. They are a straight skinny jean. They're just skinny jean, they're not straight. Yeah, Tompkins skinny jean in a black denim with a leather, genuine leather fringe and some metal studding. I thought these might have sat for a bit because they are a low rise, um, but I think that might be kind of coming back into style. I never really know with jeans. I basically just pick everything up, every style of jean, because I think everyone has their style of jeans that they like. Some people still only wear skinny jeans. I wear a lot of skinny jeans. Some people like the boyfriend fit. Some people like a boot cut. I think pretty much anything has, you know, someone wants every type of jean, if that makes sense. Um, low rise, high rise, mid rise. So I listed these at $50. If they did not have the genuine leather fringe and studding to them, I probably would have left them behind. Um, but because they did have that accent. I thought it really kind of elevated them. I was able to add keywords like rodeo. See, I listened at 50 and within a few days I received an offer of 35, which I accepted. My earnings were 28 and my net profit was $25.75 on those. So if you have anything that's Western, you know, leather fringe, leather vests, cowboy boots, I would highly recommend you guys start getting it listed and adding rodeo into both the title and description as keywords because a lot of people turn to the secondhand market to buy items to wear to the rodeo because it's kind of like um, a place that you just get kind of like a one-off item to wear and a lot of people don't want to pay up for that, so they turn to the secondhand market um, to shop for rodeo attire. So, yeah, little tip there. Next, we have a pair of pants, another pair of pants. These are by Madewell. And these are a high-rise, wide leg, wide cropped leg with a plaid print. They're a size medium. Really cute. I think these are called the Houston Pants. I listed these at 35 and again, Flip sent out a $31 offer with discount ship on these, which was accepted. And so that made my earnings $22.12 and my net profit right around $20, which I'm happy with. These, again, sold, I would say, within five days of being listed. I knew they would sell just because they definitely have that minimalist, contemporary, kind of modern look to them. And high-rise, wide-leg, cropped fit is extremely trendy. Well, I think it's kind of a timeless cut, but it's trending currently. Okay, moving on. This was a piece I was talking about that I wish, the second piece that I wished I had gotten out before Christmas. I thought this would be such a cute Christmas dress, but again, plaid is just kind of a quintessential fall print, so it's not like this is strictly for Christmas. 
Um, it's a 2X dress from Torrid. Excellent condition, no flaws. It's a mixed media style, meaning that the upper half is one type of material. It's like a sweater knit. And then the bottom half is more of like a rayon kind of fabric. So that's mixed media. And I listed this for $35. Again, within just a couple days, I got an offer of $25, which I did counter to $28. If this had been before Christmas, I probably would have stuck firm to 32 to 35 ish. But because we are nearing the end of January, I did go ahead and counter at just 28. That was accepted. My earnings came out to $22 and 40 cents. And my net profit was right around $20 on the stress. I love selling Torrid. It usually sells very quickly for me, not for a lot by any means. It doesn't really retail for a whole lot, but it is a consistent seller. And that almost means more to me than, uh, you know, price point because higher price items usually are not my most consistent sellers. They usually take a little bit longer to sell. Um, but bread and butter stuff, Torrid, American Eagle, it usually flies out of my closet, which, you know, that's what I like to see when um, I'm paying my bills. I pay my bills on my bread and butter stuff. So anyways, we have a hoodie. This is so cute. I love this. I almost wish I would have kept this for myself, but I do have a lot of hoodies. It's like a gradient ombre, a kind of neutral color, color tone, color scheme. It's a loose knit, loose chunky knit. And um, yeah, I think someone will really like that. It's a really pretty piece. It had absolutely no tags on it, no brand tag, no size tag, no material tag. That did not deter me from buying it because I knew that someone would be able to see how cool it is from the pictures. Um, and I usually just try to add in a lot of keywords when this kind of thing happens. There's no brand to carry it. And it did sell for full price, $32, which I was so happy about. My earnings were $25.60 and my net profit was $23. Okay, moving on, we have a bundle of two pieces. First off is this American Eagle turtleneck sweater. It's oversized, it's slouchy, it's very soft. It's a size extra, extra large, and it's the newer tag. Um, if this had been size extra small, older tag, I would have left it. But the combination of those things, I did want to get it. We have that. I am going to, you know what, I think I'm going to wrap these in a big box just because this sweater is so chunky. <laughs> um, so our second piece is Veronica Beard, a great brand for you guys to keep an eye out for. Um, it's something that retails for a crazy amount of money, kind of similar to Loro Piana. People know the brand, they know that it's very high quality, but it's just, outrageously expensive retail. I think this retailed for around $350, this blouse. It's a size 14, which was great. It is a silk blend. And I listed, I forget what I listed for, I think around 95-ish. But when the two pieces were added together, the bundle price came out to 123. And someone offered me a hundred, which I went ahead and accepted. I do like Veronica Beard, but sometimes it can sit. It usually does end up selling pretty well for a good price point, but it can sit. And so I was very happy to receive this offer so quickly after listing. Both of these were very recently listed. 
So I did accept that. My earnings were 80. I paid $4.50 for both pieces. And so my net profit came out to $75.50. Okay, we add our label. Moving on, Anthropology. This is from their Saturday Sunday sub brand. It's a tunic sweater top with some pleating and back. It has like the inverted seams, which definitely gives it kind of a casual slouchy vibe. This is Anthropology's loungewear line, Saturday Sunday. You can wear the stuff or most of the stuff out but it's kind of like that, uh, you know, like running errands, uh, lazy day kind of pieces, I would say. And that stuff is probably some of my best sellers. People like to be comfy and uh, comfortable stuff sells well for me is what I'm trying to say. And so because of that, the Saturday Sunday line from Anthropology does usually fly out of my closet. So I listed this at $35 and someone liked it. So again, Flip sent them out a $31 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $22.12 and my net profit right around $20 on this sweater. It's a really pretty blue color. Alrighty, our last couple sales from my women's closet. I do have one men's item that sold. We have this Lucky brand purse. It's genuine leather. It's like a hobo bag and the strap has some like floral studding to it. Really cute. I'm just going to place this again in my box number seven and then add a piece of paper on top. This sold full price within just a couple days of being listed. I had it in a haul video a long time ago or a few months ago, but I never took pictures of it for some reason. And so I just recently listed it and it sold like it might have been next day for full price, $35. Lucky brand. A lot of their accessories do great for me. I would say accessories and plus size clothing in Lucky Brand does great. Anything leather, leather bags, leather shoes, leather belts from Lucky does very well. And then the really boho embroidered plus size stuff also sells very well. Did I say? So full price, 35 my earnings were 28 and my net profit was 26. Okay, last sale from my women's closet is this Maurice's top, super cute. It's like a Henley style top and then it has this very boho kind of shawl collar in a size 3X, which is great. I don't always pick up Maurice's by any means, but if I can find it at my outlets for around $2 and it has a lot going for it, like this top does, I will get it. If this, uh, you know, didn't have the really cute style, if it was just a plain gray thermal, I would not have gotten it. If it had been a size small, I would not have gotten it. Or if it had been like five dollars I would not have gotten it so the combination of everything was why I grabbed it all of the stars aligned for me to get it and it did sell full price $28 my earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was right around $20 so very happy with that for this brand Again, this is kind of a bread and butter sale. Um, this sold within maybe like three days of being listed.
And then our very last sale for today is this men's Lucky Brand graphic t-shirt that says support your local bartender and the text is in the colors of the Irish flag. So I think this is, you could wear this on uh, St. Patrick's Day. It's a size extra, extra large. That was another reason I got it. I just thought it was funny. Uh, and you know, I did, I did add in St. Patrick's Day as keywords. And so yeah, um, I probably have had this, I would guess maybe like a year now. Um, I did have it listed over in my men's closet, but honestly, I don't mind that. Uh, stuff usually sits in my men's closet for a while and then it usually sells full price because um, men don't really seem to be too interested in uh, you know, going back and forth on pricing. If they want something, they usually just buy it, <laughs> is what I have noticed. And so uh, when I list stuff in my men's closet, I don't really expect it to sell quickly, but I do expect it to sell for close, either close to what I listed it for or full price. So I'm happy with that. It's a nice trade-off. This did sell full price, $25. That made my earnings 20 and my net profit 19. I just kind of threw this into my cart at the bins one day. It's a very lightweight. So I'm happy with a $19 profit. Okay, and that is absolutely everything for this Ship With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have, I'm filming a haul after this video, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. So thanks so much, y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.